ಸಂಯುಕ್ತಿಯಾಚಕಾಶ್ರೀಗುರುವೇ ತೀರ್ಥಂಕರೋ ಜಗತ್ತನಾಥವರ್ತೋಂಕಾರಜಗಮಾಜಯವಂತವರ್ತ ನಮೋತೀರ್ಥನಾಯಕ ನಮೋ ಓಂಕಾರನಾಥನೆ ಓಂಕಾರ ಸಂಗರ್ಯೋತೇಣೆ ನಮೋ ತೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಕುಂದ ಕುಂದನೆ ಅಹೋ ಉಪಕಾರ ಚಿನವರನೋ ಕುಂದನೋ ಧನಿ ದೇವ್ಯನೋ ಜೀನ ಕುಂದ ಧ್ವನಿಯಾಕ ಅಹೋ ತೇ ಗುರುಕಾನನು ಅಹೋ ತೇ ಭಗವತಿ ಮಾತನು ಧ್ರುವ ಚಲನೆ ಅನುಪಮ ಗತಿ ಪಾಮೇಲ ಸರ್ವೇ ಶ್ರೀಧನೆ ವಂದೇ ಕಮೋ ಸುತ ಕೇವಲಿ ಭಾಷಿತ ಆ ಸಮಯ ಪ್ರಾಪತ ಅರೆ ಹೂ ಏಕ ಸುಖ ಸದಾ ಅರೂಪಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದರ್ಶನಮಯ ಕರೆ ಕೈ ಅನ್ಯತೆ ಮಾರು ಜರಿ ಪರಮಾಣು ಮಾತ್ರ ನತಿ ಅರೆ ಜಮ ನೇತ್ರ ತೇಮಜ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನತಿ ಕಾರಕ ನತಿ ಭೇದ ಕರೆ ಜಾಣೆ ಜಕರ ಮೋದಯ ನಿರಜರ ಬಂದ ತೇಮಜ ಮೋಕ್ಷಣೆ ಓಂ ನಮ ಸಿದ್ಧೇವ್ಯ ಓಂ ನಮ ಸಿದ್ಧೇವ್ಯ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಶುದ್ಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಜೇಂದ್ರ so here we are today today is uh, actually in india it's a, a new year and uh, on this a weird nirvan mahotsav that means the uh, anniversary of uh, lord mahavir's uh, obtaining nirvana uh, we wish congratulation to everybody and also on this happy new year day let's all intensify our personal effort to obtain enlightenment and to further our progress to achieve the liberation so that's our best wishes and uh, why it should not be we we are on the right path and so we will make it and that will be our homage to our guru when we intensify our personal efforts having said that we are right now on the sixth stanza of our samasar this is a extremely important stanza that brings the base building and that's why we are going very slowly on it today is a 12th and the 12th hour of our swadhyay on this on this stanza because it is very important and so what we are going to do is i hope to wrap up everything today and if not maybe by next time for sure that we'll be able to wrap it up and then go to the next uh, stanza and everything so what we were last time that uh, uh how the one second does enlightened soul has toxic emotions 
this was our slide that we started with. And uh, so when we said no, the enlightened soul does not have toxic emotions. Why no? Because this is from the perspective of absence of infinite bonded toxic emotions. Remember, we saw the slide in which toxic emotions are divided into four parts. Uh, um, infinitely bonded toxic emotions means with my rag and waste, with my inclusion of attachment and aversion, I end up binding the karma which will stay with me for longest possible time. And that longest possible time is mentioned in the scripture as 70 Kroda Kodi, 70 Kroda Kodi Sagropam. It's a, it's a huge, huge time. So no matter what kind of inclusion of attachment or aversion I have it, in this phase of wrong faith, I keep on binding those karma. Now, when I go to the Samyak Darshan, I go to the fourth spiritual development stage. From first, the soul goes to fourth stage. From wrong faith, he goes to right faith. So when he goes to right faith, he still has a karma, but the load of karma, this deluding karma becomes extremely minimal. And so at that time, even though there is a slight teeny tiny amount of karma bondage occurring to the enlightened soul also, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> but, but it is so minuscule that for example, I have a million dollar and Ketan has a $5 in his pocket, then compared to my million dollar, Ketan's $5 is minuscule, minis, min, minimum. He's called poor guy. Same way, when I'm binding infinitely bonded toxic emotions, and if he's binding any minimal amount of toxic emotions, then he's been said, oh, he has nothing. He's poor. He doesn't have any karma stayed with him at all. So on this perspective, enlightened soul does not have toxic emotions even though he is minimal but it is so minute minuscule it is as good as having none but but yes he still has a toxic emotions bondage even though it's a minuscule amount but still he's acquiring those things so those are the things we need to understand what perspective we are talking about. So enlightened soul on the fourth spiritual development stage, he has shedded off so much karma particles, so much deluding karma particle, the minuscule part remains. And that minuscule part is so small, that's why we say he doesn't have bondage, but from the other perspective, from karma perspective, yes, he still has a bondage, but it is very minute, minimal. And that minute karma bond, that bondage is because of his instability of his nature for staying in the innate form. Remember, first time we experience the soul substance, this instability, because my personal efforts are not strong enough. So my karma fruition from the past lives and everything comes in fruition and they pull me out. And because I don't have enough strength within me, sorry, enough strength within me, that's why, that's why I come out. And so it's an instability. And then I intensify my personal effort and I get engrossed within my true nature and if I get engrossed for 48 minutes in my true nature of self, 48 minutes, then, then the soul obtains omniscience. 48 minutes of non-stop staying in the innate form. Uh, uh, monk Mahavir, the, the, the youth Mahavir, took the initiation at the age of 30. Then he became the monk. So monk Mahavir 
intensified his effort to stay within his innate nature, but still it is it, it, instability of his nature for staying in the innate form. He will come out, goes in, comes back, goes in, comes back. Each time he goes in, the time interval of staying within increases. And ultimately, when he stayed in his innate nature for 48 minutes non-stop, he obtained omniscience. For obtaining this 48 minutes of non-stop engrossment in the uh, real nature of soul, it took 12 and a half years of his intense personal effort, meditative efforts. So, it will take few few years for me also, right? I don't have to get discouraged. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I have to have that kind of attitude within me. If I have that attitude, yes, I'm going to make it. If I take the negative attitude, negative perspective, everything will become bad for me. I had a patient. She had a rheumatoid arthritis, severe rheumatoid arthritis hands, legs, and everywhere, everywhere, you know. She came to me and she said, doctor, I need the medical clearance for my surgery for my uh, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And I said, you do have a surgery from before, right? She said, doctor, this is my 48th surgery, 48th. And I said, oh my God, I feel sorry. She said, what do you mean by sorry? These surgeries are so great that it keeps me going. And you know what? As soon as surgery is done, I go to the camp in the woods, in jungle. And I enjoy it. Look at her attitude. 48 times she's going to surgery and she's cheerful. She says, no problem. So attitude, attitude is important. Everything remains same. It is extremely cold. So what? In month of November, it will be cold everywhere. Why do you complain? In July, in Phoenix, it is hot. So what? It's July, it's hot. Accept it. Why do you complain about it? As one of the presidents said, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. So we have to accept. Our, our perception is more important than the situation around us. Situation could be anything, but my perception changes. My perception is positive. I'm going to get a, a, a lot of thing out of it. If my perspectives are negative, I'm going to suffer a lot. I don't want to suffer myself. So that's why perspective is important. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, <clears throat> so knowledge mode's capacity is to know the self and also alien object now that we know it, even in the middle of even in the middle of night somebody wakes you up and says what's the knowledge mode's capacity you will just say knowing self knowing alien objects that has been ingrained in our mind for sure so now let's see does knowing mode know alien objects remember previous slide said Knowing mode's capacity to know the self and also alien object. Having said that, now Acharya Bhagwan throws the question to us and says, Do you really mean that knowing, knowing mode knows the alien objects? Well, let's see what he says. Knowing mode does not know the alien object just because they are present. Remember, now it's if whatever we have, because this is kind of a revision of all, everything that we knew for the last three months. Knowing more does not know alien object just because they are present. Then, but knows the mode, it knows the mode which knows the knowledge related to the alien object. Now, it's a very complicated affair right now in this sentence. I am the soul substance. I have the knowledge mode. I have the knowledge pariyai. I have a gnan pariyai. This knowledge mode has a capacity to know. Knowledge mode is capacity to know. What does this mode know? This mode knows itself. This mode knows itself for this discussion right now. 
so what is this in this what is there in this knowledge mode the object is illumination object illumination is present this is the phone but this phones this, this phone is an object and this object is illuminated in my knowledge mode and my knowledge mode knows this illumination of this object see this point has to be clear on our mind because this is the one it's going to keep us bonded into the soul substance and not to get out of the soul substance so again this is the object and illuminated in my knowledge mode so my knowledge mode is illumination of an object and my knowledge node same knowledge mode knows this illumination of the object right that's what is happening okay then alien objects are simply present as an in instrumental cause when fish is swimming fish is swimming because of its own capacity to swim stone is sinking in the water because of its own capacity to sink water is simply a vehicle if water is the reason for fish to swim then water water should also make the stone to swim also but that doesn't happen so each object has its own capacity so fish has a capacity to swim and stone has a capacity to sink and water simply is present as an instrumental cause there is no denial for instrumental cause but a credit goes to the uh, activity occurring in that particular uh, uh, sub, uh, subject and that is fish or the stone they have their own characteristics and a water being vehicle either they sink or swim because of their own capacity so this is the word when we call instrumental cause it not to be neglected its presence its present is to be accepted but but the act is getting within me that is an important thing i am the one who does the who does the action of knowing i am the one who is responsible for this action of knowing within me so buck stops at me that's what we have to keep in mind now as the alien object gets illuminated in the knowledge mode the knowledge mode ends up knowing alien object this alien object got illuminated in my knowledge mode so my knowledge mode ends up knowing this illumination my knowledge mode did not go out it just simply knew the illumination part now on this presumption there will be impurities in this knowledge mode because the alien object becomes a reason of knowledge to occur. So remember, the first part what we say, alien objects get illuminated in the knowledge mode and that's why the word is missing. I should put that word. That's why knowledge mode ends up knowing alien object. So right now, here we are putting burden of proof on this object. Burden of proof we are putting on this object that because object is present that's why i end up knowing if that is a case in that presumption that because the object is present and i'm getting i'm knowing that object that means there's an impurity in this knowledge mode because its knowledge it depended on the object so there is going to be impurity present we don't want to have nay kruth asuddhata here so this is not a true statement in actuality in reality during the time when the object gets illuminated object gets illuminated <coughs> then my knowledge modes ends up knowing the same mode which has illumination so that kind of thing we have to keep uh, keep in mind. So jana or janai che janai evi chiz janai nathi means that all knower soul substance keeps on knowing. This thing is not th th this object is not known to me. Object illumination 
I end up knowing. Not the object. This is like abstract thinking, but this is the real thinking. You know, or somebody will say, this is too abstract. I don't want to, I, I don't care about it. No, you have to understand. If you don't understand, you won't progress further. Okay, so then it keeps on going. Along with knowing the self, the knowledge mode also knows the influence of, of, of attachment as an alien object. During this knowledge of the alien object, the knowledge mode does not have impurity due to presence of the object that is getting recognized. I don't have that impurity within me that I knew because of this object being present. I end up knowing because of me, myself only. Then knowledge regarding this object occurred. Knowledge regarding this object occurred in the mode of the self is not due to presence of alien object. Alien object means influence of attachment is simply present as an instrumental cause. Water is simply present as an instrumental cause for fish to swim and rock to sink. So this knowledge mode arising from all our soul substance also end up knowing the alien object by itself only. Remember. Alien, I'm the all knower soul substance. I have the knowledge attribute, and this knowledge attribute keeps making modification every moment, every moment, every moment. And in, in that every moment's knowledge modes function, this more knowledge mode by itself, by itself decided to show the object it is its own doing and at the time the object is simply present as an instrumental cause fish decided to swim the water was simply present as an instrumental cause continue the same discussion at the time of knowledge getting illuminated when the when the time when the object gets illuminated the knowledge mode has its own characteristics to be in certain form of shape of knowledge mode. When this, no, this object gets illuminated, this knowledge mode has its own independence to be in certain form, certain shape. It's called Gnanaka. It is supposed to be in certain shape. And when that certain shape is created, this object is simply present as an instrumental cause. So, Buck stops at me again. I am the reason for this knowledge. I am the reason for this uh, shape of this knowledge of mode occurring in certain form. And again, it was predetermined, predestined from before. All the infinite modes are predetermined, predestined. It do they do occur in their own given time at that particular time they are born, and at that time there is. Some object is present as an instrument, of course, simply that one. Okay, this is the innate nature of the knowledge mode by itself only. This knowledge mode has its own independence and its own innate nature to be in certain form. It decides whatever it is already pre decided that I'm going to be in certain, a certain form in certain time in certain place. And at the time, certain object is present at that particular time. The object's present is simply an instrumental cause. So instrumental cause and primary cause, they have a big wall between them. And once I realize that big wall, that is called discriminative science. That is called Ved Vignan. That tells me that separate the rest of the thing, all the object from me, and concentrate within me and that will be the true form of my existence that will be the real reason for my existence and that's what I should be doing this present knowledge mode ends up knowing this mode of certain form of shape of a given mode remember this let's take 10 modes right now number fifth mode number fifth mode 
has predetermined predestined determination that I am going to be showing the, the image or illumination of something that is predetermined at that time number fifth mode this object came and this mode created its own image and that image is been known by this mode so that's what happened this origin of the particular mode is due to all our soul substance only and not due to presence of alien object in the form of influence of attachment etc so this mode number fifth mode is my own mode created by my own soul substance at the time everything else is present as an uh, instrumental cause is present as an alien object further going there further in the right fate stage now I'm entering into fourth spiritual development stage from the first spiritual development stage which is called wrong faith when I realize and I go to the right faith then I go to fourth stage in this right faith stage which is called Samyak Darshan called enlightenment self-realization one ends up knowing its own true nature of the self in the mode now see now, now, now uh, Acharya Bhagwan takes a turn around the knowledge mode's function is to illuminate the self as well as alien objects. Self as well as alien objects. So the illumination occurs for both the object, self object and alien object in my knowledge mode. Now, where do I put importance? Do I put importance to the alien object? Or do I put importance to the in my, my uh, self image? Illumination of myself is created. Illumination of the alien object is created. Illumination of the self object is created. Illumination of the eter, uh, 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 alien object is created. Both the illuminations are there. Now it's up to me to put faith and put concentration on which form of image that is created within my mode. Mode has both the images present. Now, since time infinite, I have created attachment to the alien object. So when the alien object is present, I just keep on looking at the alien object and I make my self image. I ignore that one. But in the right page stage, now that I realize that very second, my, my knowledge mode also creates the image of myself, eternal self soul. So let me put the faith or attention or concentration to that form. And, and I will realize myself. There was one time, there was a musician party from India came to Los Angeles and they are supposed to go to San Diego or something. And on the freeway, instead of taking five south, they end up taking five north. And halfway they realize that there is no sign for San Diego coming. There is only San Francisco, San Francisco sign keeps on coming. Because they were not careful enough. They did not put their attention to the five south and just they end up going to five, five is there five is there let's take five north similarly for time infinite all the alien objects and myself are my, my soul is reflected illuminated in my in my mode but my attention is drawn to the alien object and that's why i perceive only alien object and i don't perceive myself but now that I realize, now knowing the six stanza, I know that I have to my, bring my attention to this one. That's only the thing to do. My personal effort is to take my attention away from the alien object in this mode to my real eternal true self of myself. Yes, uh, uh, Chirag, you had a question? <coughs> okay. Then, at 
the same time, inclusive attachment, etc., objects are also getting illuminated in this mode. The, the present knowledge mode has both the illumination, self-illumination and alien object illumination. Both are present, present, present. Now, but the knowledge mode does not know the inclusion of attachment, etc. stage. Knowledge mode knows only the self. In fact, knowledge mode knows its own mode in which there is inclusion of attachment is getting illuminated upon as well as the eternal soul is getting illuminated upon also. So knowledge mode ends up knowing both the things, but depending on your attention, where do you put your attention? I have a headache. And then at the same time, I have uh, uh, severe chest pain. And knowing that, knowing that I'm coronary patient, I know chest pain is more important. My headache becomes secondary. Secondary, uh, I take nitroglycerin and I take nitroglycerin to, to relieve my pain and my headache becomes stronger. I don't care about the strong headache because my chest pain is more important. Where do I put my attention? That is more important. So uh, uh, alien object is getting eliminated. My eternal soul is getting eliminated. Where do I put attention? Take attention away from here. Put it over here. That's called your personal effort. That's all you have to do. Nothing more than that. When we say personal effort, means purusharth, means we think that, oh my God, I have to do so many things. I have to go and dig the ditches at 110 degree temperature. Not that purusharth. Not that effort. My effort is simply taken away from alien object illumination to my eternal soul substance illumination in my present mode. That's all I have to do. So next, knowledge mode is own capacity in exactly the same form. as So knowledge mode has its own capacity to be exactly in the form, same as that of object, whether it's an alien or whether it's a self, uh, self object. Therefore, this knowledge mode ends up knowing its own mode where there is illumination of the alien object and or uh, eternal self object also. So remember, action occurs in the knowledge mode. Action occurs in the knowledge mode. And knowledge mode is everything. And I end up, now it becomes very, very, very uh, abstract. I means I as a knowledge mode ends up knowing me as a knowledge mode where there is illumination of the objects. So my action occurs within me only. My action occurs within my mode only. I'm the doer, means mode, modification, my mode, my pariah. I'm the doer and I'm the deed. I'm the karta and I'm the karma. Action occurs within my knowledge mode, so it's a deed. And I am the one which performs this action. That means I'm the doer. So my mode means my knowledge mode, me as a knowledge mode, is a doer as well as deed, both the things together. <clears throat> so now let's take this example of this uh, of a quiet lake with a moonless night with a lots and lots of stars getting uh, 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 illuminated in the quiet lake. Now all the stars that I'm seeing over here, I see the stars and the star, real stars are in the sky. What am I seeing? I'm seeing the image, illumination of the stars in the quiet water. Now, I just said, I want to get those image. I want to get this image. I want to get this image. So I take the dive in this, uh, in this pond. I take the dive in this lake and try to look for the stars. I don't find anything except for coolness of the water. That's all I perceive is coolness of water. So when I have all this object getting illuminated within me, when I dive into my soul substance, I say, there is that object, there is that object, there is that object illumination. I just simply feel the knowledge and I feel the in, uh, uh, super senses bliss of the uh, soul. That's all I feel is a, a, a unification of the soul substance, knowledge attribute, infinite attributes and their more I feel the coolness of the knowledge, 
coolness of unity, coolness of uh, indivisibility of the soul substance with its super senses bliss. As I, when I dive in the water to look for the stars, I don't get the stars, but I feel the coolness of water. Same way when I dive into the soul substance, try to look for all these images occurring in the mode, and I just say, there is so much unity, real unity of the soul substance, attribute and modes, and I just simply feel the knowledge, and I feel the super sensuous bliss. That's all I feel. Because there is unity. Same way here, when, you, when we talk Gnayakar, we talk so much, we'll go quickly on this one, object and uh, um, knowledge mode, and uh, then the object getting illuminated, but this illumination is due to object, that's why it's called Gnayakar, <coughs> but when I talk Gnanakar means I'm the soul substance, knowledge attribute is there, and the knowledge mode is there, and my knowledge mode by itself created this image within me. And at the time, the object is present as an instrumental call. When I put the uh, wall between those two things, then, then it becomes uh, uh, discriminative science. It becomes Vedna. Now I'm entering the soul substance. Now I'm en uh, enjoying the soul substance. Now I'm experiencing, experiencing the, the super senses breeze of the soul substance. So this kind of attitude I have to create. If, if I go to uh, um, uh, deep thinking process, you know, meditation is a, is a puny word right now. In the first spiritual development stage, what I can do is recitation and deep thinking about these things. So what I have to keep on thinking, particular thing is object. I'm the, I'm the, in that object get eliminated within me the illumination is because of me and that illumination occurring within me is occurring because of this soul substance and that's why uh, I keep on thinking that this illumination occurred in me and this is my nature and if I keep on thinking that way if I keep on thinking that is my process so can I do it first thing in the morning, afternoon, evening, night, any time when I'm walking? I met one uh, very nice uh, uh, lady to whom I learned lots and lots of things. And she said, that's it. If I see this phone, means I'm, I, 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 my knowledge has seen. If I, if I see my clothes, knowledge is seen. Body, knowledge is present. Uh, but, uh, but, but, but beautiful morning, knowledge. Keep on thinking that thinking pattern we have to establish in us. And that is called your quote unquote meditation and or um, deep thinking or recitation, whatever you want to go. So this kind of thing, any so any bad thing happens to me, well, I'm the all knower soul substance. Everything happened to me because of me. Um, good thing happened. Everything happened to me because of me. That kind of attitude I have to create within me. So do all the relationship in the same mode. Chirag, there is an answer to your question. You asked that question last week. You are already one, one step ahead. You are already so far ahead. Your thinking is so clear. I really, really appreciate it. And actually, I feel jealous that if at your age, I didn't know anything, and you know so much intricacy of all this thing, that I don't know where you will be. 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, but I know best is yet to come for Jainism because of people like you uh, having all this intense uh, interest in the subject. Anyway, so here, dual deed relationship in the same mode. Remember I said, my mode is a doer and my mode is doing the action of knowing. I'm the doer. My, means me as a knowledge mode is a doer and I'm doing the action of knowing. So doer and deed are present in the same mode and that is the absolute point of view. Stanza 39 to, no, stanza 68 to 144 in Samesa. They are based on this principle. Doer, 
deed relationship occurring in the same or same uh, same thing and that means in the same mode also and that is a karta karma adhikar that is a that's a peak of the uh, 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 kun kun swami's uh, intellect that he created this kind of thing for us to understand everything from his experience from his uh, 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 true teachers who taught him and from omniscient lord's knowledge so kun kun swami gave us this important information to us <coughs> knowledge mode is the ultimate knowing element remember i am entering the soul substance i am in the i am into the uh, country of a soul substance right now and in that soul substance there is a soul substance infinite attributes are there and each attribute is a mode occurring every moment and everything this is the whole uh, scenario of the soul total soul in which the action is occurring in the mode only soul is inert in uh, infinite attributes are inert and only action occurs in the mode so the knowledge mode when we say mode we always use the word knowledge mode that means we make the other modes present as uh, secondary in nature remember mode is one in one moment only but this one mode represents all the infinite attributes in this mode and if i take this mode take it to the lab and dissect it theoretically then i can see the knowledge particle then a perception particle <coughs> conduct attributes of presence and then uh, 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 eternal existence of presence all those infinite attributes will be present but now out of all this thing we make everybody secondary and we make knowledge as primary and that's why we just said knowledge mode whenever we say knowledge and uh, whenever we say mode it includes all the uh, attributes knowledge within one mode but we make the knowledge mode as a principle knowledge mode is extremely important because it's a extraordinary function of the knowledge attribute so knowledge mode is the ultimate knowing element it means it's a owner of an act it means it's a doer it means it is karta okay now same mode is doing the function of knowing it means deed it means karma so therefore do or deed relationship are present in the same mode that's a absolute point of view here the principle or principle of do or deed relationship occurring in the same substance is maintained this is the independence of the mode this is the independence of all the substances of the universe nobody is dependent on anything else the knowledge mode is a doer knowledge mode is a deed and everything occurs within the same mode does not have independency on any alien object of the universe so that's what is important that we have to understand in case of attachment is is the alien object and is doer and the knowledge mode is deed is not true in case of attachment is doer object doer and owner of the act and knowledge mode is a deed is not to because then it's occurring we are involving two different events two different things that's not true it's a conventional point of view so one ends up knowing the eternal self self illuminating nature with this nature of alien uh, illumination capacity of the knowledge mode he also end up knowing a, a alien object this knowledge mode illuminates self as well as alien object both how he simply knows his knowledge mode which is illuminated in terms of attachment as well as the eternal soul substance knowledge mode has uh, uh, your eyes okay knowledge mode has transformed by itself with its own independence this knowledge mode was predetermined in to come in that form only we know this is a kind of revision we are doing so we are going faster inclusive attachment is simply present as an instrument of cause we know that part now now 
if you remember last week we said that the all knower soul substance is a doer, owner of an act, means karta. And we also said pure mode of the knowledge is a deed, means action that is getting done by the owner, that's a karma. We say soul substance is an owner and mode is a deed. This scenario when we presented last week is to separate from the all alien objects of the universe. This fact when we presented last week and Chirag, you raised the question about it, this was to separate from the all alien objects of the universe that I am the one, action occurs within me, I am responsible. But when it comes to me, then who is me? I am the soul substance, I have attributes and I have more. Where does the action occur in this house? Where action occurs in one mode only. This is Gosalia residence. I want to meet Gosalia. When I come into the house, there are four people present. Whom do I want to meet? Well, I want to meet Kirit Gosalia, not Ributi Gosalia, not Rina Gosalia, not Ria Gosalia. No. So when I'm entering the house, then I go to the person, particular person. When I'm outside, I go to visit Gosalias. So from alien objects perspective, act is getting done in the soul substance. When you're entering the soul substance, then the, the, the things get percolated all the way down to the mold. So to separate from the alien object, we just say that soul substance is a doer. And the mold is a deed. But from the absolute, super absolute perspective, when we talk about it, my mode is an owner of an act. And my mode is a deed. My mode does the knowledge of knowing. So, no, uh, karta means a doer, act of the owner is a mode, and the deed means the act getting done is a mode, and both the things are there in the same mode. And that's why it's a uh, thing. So, doer deed relation exists in only one substance that is to separate from the other objects, but when I go into one substance, then I know that it is occurring in the mode and not in the soul substance or attributes. Alien object is a doer and the soul's mode is deed is not a true statement. Uh, we can just skip this slide because it's repeating the same thing. Uh, okay, now, other, other, the, when we are including the inclusion of attachment, then what happens? <coughs> In real increase of attachment was simply present as an instrumental cause, but to tell that knowledge mode knows the increase of attachment is a conventional point of view. Knowledge mode knows this influence of attachment is a conventional point of view. Soul as a substance knows the increase of attachment is also from conventional point of view. First thing, we just say alien objects, we want to take it out. That because of alien objects act occurred over here, that's conventional point of view. Now, because of my soul substance, my everything occurred within me, when I think that way, then also is a conventional point of view. The real, uh, real absolute point of view is, act is getting done in the mode, mode is a doer, mode is a deed, mode is a owner of the act, and mode is a blah, 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 acting. So that doer deed relation occurs, occurs in, a, um, in a mode only, that's a true statement. Again, this one we have seen, so I think I'm just going to skip. Omniscient Lord knows the relationship. Omniscient Lord knows the cosmic universe and beyond. This is a conventional point of view, but Omniscient Lord knows his own present mode, where the whole universe and beyond are illuminated by self only. That's an absolute point of view. From this, illumina illum from this illumination, the cosmic universe and beyond becomes simply an instrumental cause. We understand that part. So, only since knowledge mode is doer as well as deed both together. What Carter, I think I'm just going to skip this slide because of, uh, this is repeating because I want to complete everything today. 
um, so knowledge mode knows this uh, knows the eternal self as well as alien object means knowledge mode job is to know the self know the alien object how that we have talked for last three months a process now eternal self as well as alien object do not enter the knowledge mode. Their illumination is entering. The eternal self and the object both are outside things, but they get illuminated in the knowledge mode. Remember, action occurs in mode only. Soul substance is inert, attributes are inert, action occurs in the mode, and this mode simply illuminates all those things. Knowledge mode simply illuminates them in the mode, Upon directing one's attention to the eternal true nature of the self, one now separates self from the alien objects. Remember, both the things are illuminated. Knowledge mode, as well, uh, knowledge mode is illumination of the self, eternal self, and alien object. My attention needs to be directed to the to my uh, um, uh, illumination of the eternal soul substance. That's it. That's all I have to do. It. If I do that. I just made it. Again, the same slide comes. What it says over here, knowledge mode now ends up illuminating eternal to self as well as alien object. See, both the things, the eternal soul substance is getting illuminated. The um, object gets illuminated in the same mode. Uh, now, self as well as alien object simply gets illuminated in the knowledge mode. They do not enter in the mode. Eternal soul substance remains over here. Object remains over here. Mode is illuminating all the things. So, what does alien object do? Or alien object knowledge modes ends up knowing this object in the in its own knowledge mode. In flow, knowledge mode knows bondage. Knowledge mode knows stoppage, uh, shading, liberation, influence of attachment and fruition of, of karma it's a knowledge mode ends up knowing all those things this is the function of the knowledge mode and so the knowledge mode is a doer owner of the act is a knowledge mode and lead means act of knowing in the same mode influence of attachment and uh, and uh, uh, they are present as a uh, they are the rag occurs as illumination in the mode. Now, here, last I'm almost we are there to finish right now. In mode, who is doer? Doer is a the owner of the act is an object in the form of influence of attachment as one element. This is the wrong thing. Doer did cannot be in two separate elements. That's what we try to look for it. And deed is a karma. I'm sorry. Deed is a karma. Uh, the, the, the knowing action occurring in the knowledge mode uh, as a secondary, a secondary element. The, the rag is a doer and mode is a deed. This is not right. This is not right. R real thing is mode is present. Mode is a doer, means karta. Knowledge mode is the owner of the act, and deed means karma. Act of knowing occurs in the same mode, and at that time, influence of attachment, rag, as well as eternal true nature of self occurs as illumination in the mode. They remain as um, instrumental cause. So, this is the true form of do or deed relationship when the rest of the thing remains as an instrumental cause. So this is the thing that we have to understand. This is what second paragraph of the um, um, uh, sixth stanza tells us. Ultimately, it just brings us to the microscopic level and says, this is what you have to understand. If we separate this guy, if we separate this guy from here, um, if I separate this person from myself all the alien object from myself then it's a true form of uh, uh, discriminative science and i'm on the real path of uh, understanding the true nature of the self and i can continue doing that uh, this is true do or did relationship and uh, that's it this is the end of all things for this stanza uh, any questions so far 
we went a little bit faster because there's lots of repetition was there, you know. Go ahead. I think I think the diagrams are very nice. That's very good. It's a, a different perspective because the words can sometimes yeah, be yeah. hard. So you are right. You are right. You know, try to try to understand this one. To take the diagram, try to digest, and I think that will be uh, again. No matter who speaks, whatever, who teaches, whatever, doesn't mean anything. I have to put my personal effort of knowing. So put the diagram and try to go through the slide. These are most important thing that we have done. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I, I'm going to close a little bit early today because I had to, you know, I'm in Dharampur and uh, it's a, uh, 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 this is the uh, uh, first day of the new year. And uh, Probably we may be able to see Gurudev Sri Rakesh, right? So that's what uh, I'm planning right now. And from here today, I'll be going to Bombay and then Lonavala. And uh, so we will we'll continue our, our series as we are doing it right now. So what my thing is, uh, so far, if there is any question is there in this six stanza, please send it out so we can discuss next week also. And if not, then we'll see what we are doing next week. Okay. All right. Any other questions or any suggestions? Jai Jinendra Sal Mubarak. Jai Sal Mubarak Ben Jai Jinendra. Happy New Year. Vibhuti Ben Ne Pan Kejo. Now I hope that uh, the this becomes this New Year becomes fulfilling for all of us to go in the path of uh, uh, self realization and we can intensify our personal effort to know the real soul. That, that, that's what we all can wish for it. And we work on it. Jai Jinendra. Jnan se suje loka lok so vani mastaka namo sada deta hunga namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta namo jam namo le so sham namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta namo jam namo le so sham namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta namo jam namo le so sham namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta namo jam namo le so sham namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta namo jam namo le so sham namo ranta namo siddhana namo ranta if I made mistake, thanks. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to all of you. Thank you. Jai Jinendra.